you want to focus on stretching the overactive muscles, primarily the hip flexors, while strengthening the weakened muscles which are the abdominals and the Since you've been stuck in anterior pelvic tilt, you need to first learn how to properly posteriorly tilt your pelvic tilt on the ground. Simply lie on your back with your knees up. You'll probably notice that there's a space between your lower back and the ground. What you want to do is flatten your lower back. Now that you've hopefully learned how to posteriorly tilt your pelvis, you want to carry that over into strengthening exercises for both your underactive glutes and abdominals. The first exercise is the hip thrust and will mainly target your glutes, but the key is to do them properly. Basically, all you're doing is driving your strength in the abdominals. Although there are several ab exercises out there, for those with anterior pelvic tilt, you need to focus on ab exercises that minimize involvement. Next, we're going to stretch your overactive hip or psoas muscle, which is a stretch most people know if yet don't perform directly. The goal is to feel a deep stretch in the front of your back leg, which is femoris, which is another hip flexor muscle and is often the tighter muscle in those with anterior pelvic tilt. Simply place your back foot up on a bench or couch with your other foot planted forward. Again, you want to contract your abdominals and move your hips into posterior pelvic. So to sum the video up, here is a corrective routine utilizing all of the exercises I've previously discussed. And as I mentioned earlier, I've compiled this information.